What is going on, friends? I am so pumped to give you guys a walk around around the brand new Ford Mustang RTR. This is a Spec 2. Project that we have been working on for over two years. Uh, it has been a secret and I'm so glad it's finally out because I hate secrets. We all hate secrets, uh, but they're required, especially when you get such early access to such an amazing new Mustang. Um, this started out uh, in CAD. Uh, we receive all the CAD data uh, from our friends at Ford. Through that process, we've also been developing what you see here. Uh, it started out uh, in CAD and then we received a very early build vehicle from Ford, an old engineering unit that we were able then able to go from CAD to 3D printing, test fitting everything, and then we go to actual production tooling, prototyping, and then production run of parts. So what you see here is a representation of the production RTR Spec 2. Let's get to it. So the most drastic changes we've made to the new Mustang is obviously the front end. And I am so pumped on what we were able to achieve with our adjustments and the parts that we have, I feel completely changes the whole front of the car, the direct front, the front three quarter. It is like so perfect. I might be a little bit biased, but uh, obviously our uh, LED air intakes, that's the first thing that grabs your eye. Um, you know, traditionally in the past, our uh, signature grill lights have been mainly just a aesthetic. This year, we actually changed the aesthetic significantly as well as they are functional. These intakes go directly into the dual intakes of the new Mustang. Uh, this is a first, you know, every year there's only been one single intake in the plenum. Now there is two individual intakes and these LED air intakes feed it fresh cold air. So super cool to be able to add some function into this signature style that RTR has been known to uh, to have. Uh, we also changed it a bit. We did a little inspiration from the, you know, tri bar of the Mustang, right? The three lights, the three lights, and then also representative of, you know, air flowing into it, right? The, the steps up, right? So larger, smaller, smaller. So it's kind of like gives that feeling of movement while it's sitting still. Uh, the other thing is our uh, pill pattern. So we always have done a pill pattern, starting with the RTRX, the Unicorn, all of our grills have a pill pattern. But what we've done is we're calling this the accelerated pill pattern. We've got it a little bit more 3D texture. Uh, it's a little bit deeper and thicker than normal. Uh, it's got some shape to it where it just kind of, from sitting still, looks like it's it's moving. It's it's a really cool uh, addition that we've done. Uh, just gives it another another dimension. So moving on to our lower grill, of course we had to do a lower grill to tie it in. The really cool thing about this lower grill is it retains the cooling ducts for performance pack vehicles and also allows non-performance pack vehicles to add the cooling ducts if somebody wanted to get a little more brake cooling uh, in their Mustang. So then moving on to our chin. Uh, very aggressive, again, just transforms the whole front end a lot more modern aggressive styling going on here. Uh, this chin does offer some front downforce. Um, you know, front lift is a thing that is is a consistent thing to manage uh, with, with Mustangs. And so we added a bit more front downforce here um, and just some very awesome aggressive looks. Uh, moving over to the corner grills, again, carrying that accelerated pill pattern into the corners of the car. Uh, this side on the performance pack uh, has the coolers. So this is forcing air through those coolers. And uh, you can see it's a lot more aggressive on the side, which will also catch some wind and help with front downforce as well at speed. Um, really pumped on how it all just comes together, right? The matching pill pattern, the aggressive chin, as well as the functional LED air intakes. I could not be happier. Now, moving on to our heat extracting hood vent. So as you can see, this has some, it's angled back a bit. So when you're driving, air will grab this and actually pull heat out of the engine bay. Uh, a lot more aggressive than the production one. You know, sticking up with our theme of, of modern aggressive styling, we go a little bit bigger with everything. So uh, the hood vent is uh, very much 
uh, that same mindset. We also offer a optional under tray extension to keep the underbody of the Mustang as smooth as possible. It is an option, but I highly suggest it because a smooth bottom on a car means great airflow and a lot of efficiency. And last but not least, rounding out the front view is the RTR window banner. This year, we've put our signage on a black backdrop. Pretty cool, it's very functional with the adaptive cruise control and all the cameras as needed. Obviously, customers can take this off, but the RTRs will come with that. All right, so moving on to side view, obviously you can see that we've changed up our graphics theme. You know, we've had a very um, signature RTR graphics treatment on vehicles since 2011. Uh, and we've changed it up this year. This body, this new Mustang really asked for something different. So what we've done is we've brought our signature RTR speed block into our graphics this year. So we go from the hood down to the lower rocker, back up onto the hips. I absolutely love it. It is so RTR and so fresh. Uh, and, and like I said, this new Mustang deserved and wanted something new and different. So as you can see from the side view, the stance is perfect. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Tell me it's not. It is dropped a little bit over an inch in the front, a little less than an inch in the rear. That stance and ride height is achieved thanks to our RTR tactical performance suspension system, which includes RTR lowering springs, adjustable dampers, both strut and shock in the rear, as well as fully adjustable sway bars with three settings. So our tactical performance suspension system has been developed for each of those parts to be able to be used on a vehicle on their own. So you can put the springs on factory dampers, you can upgrade the factory dampers with ours, or you can just add the sway bars. But when it is together, it is an absolute weapon of a system. You have a complete adjustable balance in the car for street driving, twisties, drifting, drag racing, whatever it is that you want to do, this car will do it. I'm not going to say it's the best at anything, but it's really good at everything, which is the mantra of ready to rock. So basically, whatever you're doing with a couple turns of the knob on the dampers or a, a sway bar change, you can get the balance of the car. When you buy this car from the dealer, it leaves with a very nice neutral balance. It's very easy for you to add oversteer, or if you're gonna put some super sticky tires on it, you can also make the changes to get the car to rotate and drive the way that you want it to with this adjustable suspension. Every owner also has access to our suggestions on how to adjust the suspension for various driving goals. Now the stance would be nothing without a beautiful set of wheels. These are our new Aero 5 RTR wheels. They are 20 by nine and a half all the way around. We will have a staggered setup with larger tires in the future, but this is how these vehicles come stock. We maxed out the offset. You can see how perfect the stance is again. Yeah, I'm a little biased, maybe a little confident, but it's perfect. And there's no rubbing. No matter what you do, it's right. We maxed it all out. It is absolutely engineered to be the max that this car can handle. So love those wheels. And obviously, uh, as usual, we've wrapped them with the Nitto NT555 G2. It's my personal feeling that these tires are the absolute best all around tires for a Mustang. They're great for daily driving. They're good in the rain. They've got good, consistent grip and they last. So if you're like me, you like to go out some fun, do some donuts, do some bird outs, some drifting, some track, they last very well, uh, which is why we choose them. Like they're not the stickiest tires out there. We could have put a stickier tire on there just to meet a lap time. But for me, they're the most fun and most diverse tire for the Mustang. And that is why we choose them. But just a little bit about our suspension testing and validation. I'll usually get the car in the box that I like. And then we bring in a pro driver in this instance, Billy Johnson, racing legend, vehicle engineering and development driver. And uh, we brought him out to a two mile course uh, to test, validate, make changes, you know, land on the spring rates and things that we wanted. And um, we basically were able to achieve up to two seconds faster 
than a production performance pack vehicle. Now, the performance pack Mustangs on paper come with stickier tires as well. So it's two seconds faster on a less grippy tire with just our tactical performance system. So you can imagine if you took that and put it on some really sticky tires, some Nitto NT01s or other more grippy tires, that's gonna come alive even better. So I'm super proud of what we achieved. Not only is it fast on the track and confidence inspiring to drive, but it's very smooth. We've engineered the suspension to be able to have an amazing ride quality for those that might not hit the track or maybe just do it every now and then and have a comfy ride with their better half. So we've got the best balance of all worlds. And again, that's what RTR is all about. Ready for anything that your lifestyle and you wanna throw at it at any time. So the final addition to the side view is our rocker splitters. Uh, as you can see, uh, here's the production for the production part ends. And then this part here is our rocker splitter. It ties very much, ties the chin into the side of the car. Also gives the car a much lower look in stance as well. Uh, you know, we added a, added some material here and just looks a lot more lower and again, ties everything in. So I'm really, really pumped on, on everything. Moving on to the rear, one of my favorite parts we've developed for the S650 is our duckbill spoiler. I love the integration of it. It's actually a one piece injection molded part uh, but it, it really gives a cool new look for the back view of the car. And then of course, side and front three quarters, just a super aggressive uh, rear spoiler. Uh, the other thing too, for those of you that don't buy a complete car and might just buy the spoiler, there's a little Easter egg on the part. So I'm excited for you guys to, to see that when you get it. Uh, also in the rear right now, we have the production exhaust. Uh, we do have exhaust in development. So you'll be able to option that out when you buy a new vehicle or you can buy it aftermarket. We'll have both the solution uh, for the dual exhaust as well as quad tips. And we're also working on a way to convert the duals to a quad tip solution. So stay tuned for that. And the final part that we've added, very subtle, but it does the job. These are our rear quarter splitters. And basically what they do is they add the depth, very similar to the rocker splitter. Uh, no aero benefit. It's just a very subtle design and styling cue. Uh, but when you see it in person, it just really ties it all together. Such a small part and such a small attention to detail makes such a big difference. And, and those are the kind of things that we focus on here at RTR to separate you from the crowd and give you something that you're proud of every time you walk to it or walk away from it. Step into my office. So on the interior of the RTRs, uh, this one, as you can see, uh, has the optional Recaros. Uh, I'm a big fan of good seats and Recaro is the best in the game, which is why I trust them in all the motorsport that we do, as well as the production vehicles. Uh, these seats are such a nice upgrade. Uh, they hold you really well. So anyone that's going to be doing performance driving, I highly suggest check the box, get the Recaros. Uh, the other thing that you can see uh, is our shift knob. This is a really cool uh, billet shift knob, anodized black, it's got a little RTR uh, engraving in here. And it's just a really nice feeling, good weight shift now. Uh, we also, for the automatic, uh, the really cool thing is uh, you get rid of the, uh, the factory push button on the automatic and you basically use the knob as the way to move it. You just push it down and move it into gear. It's super cool. Uh, shout out to our engineers. You guys are pretty freaking smart. Uh, of course, RTR floor mats and then every vehicle is serialized. So this is our new uh, RTR uh, badge. This is actually an early prototype, so not production intent, but you get the idea. That's the location. Uh, the other thing that I absolutely love about the Mustang, a lot of people are kind of, you know, I've heard some indifferentness on the beautiful new digital display. Uh, touch screen, it's got great graphics, powered by the Unreal Gaming Engine, which is super sick. I mean, it's just beautiful. You can change the actual cluster. So it even comes with a preloaded box body cluster for uh, everyone that wants to kind of relive, you know, the early 90s. So uh, it's really cool, very well thought out. And I love that everything is effectively, you know, push button on here. Um, and the, of course, uh, you know, this little pony button here on the dash brings you right to your track apps. Boom. And then how cool is this look? Drift brake engage. So automatically it turns this from a momentary parking brake to a drift brake. 
that is fully progressive. Uh, we made it progressive so that if you're on a very sticky asphalt or uh, very low grip rain, you can use the handbrake, you know, pull it a little bit to get a little lock up or pull it all the way and get a hundred and in between is variable. So uh, this is very well designed and engineered electronic drift brake and it works better than any hydraulic brake I've ever had in any of my race cars straight up. And uh, so very, very cool feature that comes with all performance pack vehicles. When you choose that option, you get the electronic handbrake. So make sure uh, if you're in any of the kind of fun that I am, you want to get that uh, with your new Mustang. Again, you know, very cool, simple push the button for drift brake, the button for line lock, push a button for launch control, turn on and off your rev match uh, right by pushing a touchscreen. So uh, I don't know what all the fuss is about, what's not the love about this beautiful display. It is 2023 and uh, the technology in the new Mustang has just elevated the game of technology when it comes to muscle and high performance sports cars. So uh, very, very cool. Well, that's it for the walk around of our brand new Mustang RTR Spec 2 that I am so proud of. Shout out to the entire RTR Beagles team. You guys have knocked it out of the box. I'm so proud and honored to work beside each of you and our customers are gonna be so pumped when they get this car. Stay tuned as we continue to announce more spec models that will be coming to market as well as our launch edition. We're only making 25 of them. Thank you friends, we'll see you soon. Flatfoot ship. <laughs> All right. Today, we're bringing some of our RTR vehicles team members out to experience the Mustang RTR Spec 2. Where are we going? I just want to go. I don't even know where we're Make going. Left. We're All going. right. Oh, he stopped. Ah. He did it. Whoa!